Hey guys, I'm a Forrester here. This is going to be a quick channel update. We're back from China and I want to give you a wrap up on that trip. Also, it's been a while since I've given you an update on my weight loss and it ties in perfectly with the trip to China. So we'll talk weight loss a little bit. Finally, I'll talk about watches and knives. But first, the China trip. Now, we just made our third trip to China to see our daughter and her family. We were there for two weeks, which makes a total of one and a half months that we spent in China over the past year. The highlight of this trip was seeing the tidal bore, and I'll put a link to that video in case you missed it uh, in the description box below. I've made several videos which I've posted, but I'll put a few random pictures that you haven't seen from that trip at the end of this video. Now, the next thing, I went back to the night market that I mentioned in an earlier video and I bought this watch. I wanted to be able to show you a quality Rolex fake. There's a close-up of the watch face. I'm not going to go into detail on this video because I plan to make a video on this watch later today and so look out for that one. Now, now about my weight loss update. I just got an email from Fitbit and here's a graph of my weight loss, but it said that I had met my weight loss goals, which is this dotted line down here. And so I met that after my trip to China, and by coincidence, I met my weight loss goal one year ago after our first trip to China, so they are related, because I've gotten sick on two of our three trips to China. Now I'll spare you the details, but on this tri trip I lost a total of nine to 10 pounds as a result of the trip. In this chart of my weight loss, this covers the past month, and you can see how drastic the weight loss was. I'm going to start calling it my China diet. Now, my wife's never been sick on any of these trips, so I think I'm just more susceptible to the germs and diet changes while we're over there. But this time, I'm going to try my best to use it to my advantage and keep the weight off this time. Finally, I want to talk about knives. I had a knife come in the mail when I returned from the trip to China and it came in this box. I've already done the unboxing so this will be just staging the unboxing but it came from Lorik Precision Products in Ohio. That might mean something to some of you. Yes, let me make a little more room here. But here's the knife made in the USA and you can tell that it's a hinderer. I've been on a waiting list for like a year and a half, maybe two years for this hinderer knife. Let's open it up and give you a shot of it. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this knife. I did show one picture of it, but for my YouTube, YouTube audience, this will be the first time that you've seen it. And this is the XM24. It has dark, dark earth grips. And that was a weak opening but it's in the four inch buoy blade. Let me get it to where you can get the glare off of it a little bit. And I'll zoom in just a tad and give you a closer view of it. You know, I was excited about getting this knife and um, I've waited, like I say, for a year and a half. And I don't like to uh, start out with a bummer, but I'll, and I'll give you my overall impressions after I've carried it for a while. I'm not going to do that now because I've just carried it for a week. But I will say that my initial impression is disappointing. And hey, I paid for the knife so I can say what I want about it. I'm going to give you my honest opinion. So stay tuned for that video. It may take me a while because I have two other knives that I need to uh, carry and review. One is the Strider SMF that came in a while back. And the other is this Benchmade 761. And I'm not going to have room for all these knives, but I'm a little um, backed up on knife reviews, and so it may take me a little bit before I get to the um, hinderer. But that's my quick update. Stay tuned for some China pictures, and y'all take care.